Okay, today I'll be teaching you how to do this retro hairstyle. It's one of my go-tos. Um, it's my asymmetrical um, look. And um, while it takes me a little bit longer to do it in this video because I'm trying to talk at the same time and I'm also not used to doing it at my vanity table, um, you can learn to do this. I usually do this in about 10 minutes when I have curls to work with. So it's a, it's a really quick um, retro style, which is one of the reasons why it's my go-to. Have fun watching, and uh, pardon me while I travel back in time before I did this. Now, if you have straight as a board hair like me, you are going to want to set it. I use foam rollers. They're the most comfortable for me. I have not yet tried the actual pins to do genuine pin curls yet. I wrap mine up in a silky scarf so that there's no friction on my uh, rollers when I'm sleeping against my pillow. I sleep in rollers about twice a week. Please pardon the dark circles under my eyes. Yeah. I use my regular brush to initially um, brush through those curls and get them to separate and brush it out. My Chihuahua Yoda thought this was a good time to groom Anakin, so you will probably hear them initially in this video in the background. Okay, now that we have curls to work with, um, we are going to do our hair now. Now we need to pick out a hair tie that goes with what we're wearing for the day. Um, now I do my hair like this most every day, most every day. Um, sometimes I just stick it up in a banana, in a banana, banana, <laughs> bandana. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, sometimes I just th stick it up in a bandana. Um, just to get the curls out of my, just to get my hair out of my face. Um, but most days I do this. Um, I'll either style it, it depends on how I set my, my top curls here. Um, but uh, there are just usually just two styles that are my go-to. And this is one of them that I'll be showing you today. And I'm wearing navy blue today, so I'll go with a navy blue bandana. And bobby pins, you know, I should have grabbed my bobby pins. I usually do my hair in the bathroom. So, my bobby pins, which I have a magnet on the lid, and it displays them ready to use. Anyway, and I just picked up a bunch of these at Walmart to contain things in. They're really good for this or my makeup brushes. Okay. So here we go. These are important to have. A little sectioning clips. as I separate my hair while I'm styling it. Just to get it out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the brighter light just shows all my imperfections. Yeah. 
I wrap that around a finger and then I pin it in place. And don't worry about the stragglies, you can get those, uh, get those later when you're hairspraying it, when you're hairspraying it up. And I'm blind, I can't see anything. in my vanity mirror. Yeah, I got this vintage vanity off of uh, <clears throat> Facebook Marketplace. Um, and it's small enough, it's hard to find a small vanity. And it's small enough to fit in the corner of my bedroom. And... But the mirror isn't great. So I don't often use it for, yeah, I think we're going to make this one. See, I forget how to do it well, now that I'm filming it. that a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sounding very congested because I, uh, I was supposed to be doing these hair tutorials. You know, the plan was to do these hair tutorials while I was laid up with knee surgery, you know. They were a nice, easy, sit-down video that I could do. Get that in that curl right there. And then you can just over the rest. But anyway, as I was saying, I was going to do these easy to film sit down videos while I was laid up with knee surgery, <clears throat> you know, recovering from it. So I didn't have to be on my feet. New sets being stubborn. Okay, we're going to try this again. Because I cannot see. Okay, <clears throat> so stick it right. And don't worry too much about hiding your bobby pins. I know <clears throat> a lot of people hide their bobby pins, try to hide their bobby pins as best they can when doing this with retro hairstyles. But the truth of it is, these days, nobody really cares. Um, if you're like hardcore worrying about hiding your bobby pins like obsessively and usually I am quite obsessive but most of mine are hidden anyway but uh, if one or two are visible nobody's gonna care nobody's gonna notice they're just gonna be <clears throat> sorry about that they're just gonna be uh, happy to see that you put some effort forth and to make your hair look distinctive. Actually, I really shouldn't talk while I'm doing my hair because I get totally distracted and I'll go off on tangents and stuff. But anyway, especially at first, don't worry about hiding these things um, because like everything else, um, doing it well um, comes with practice. <clears throat> But some days it just doesn't do well. So I throw it up in a bandana. Not a banana. Okay. So there. So see that one is nicely curled into position. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, I was saying I was, uh, the plan was to do these videos while I was recovering. 
knee surgery, but the knee surgery got canceled because two days before it, I was tested for the <coughs> Rona plague. And they were gonna do it if I didn't have the, you know, I mean, I was sick. I, I, I had some symptoms, you know, but they said they'd do it anyway unless I tested positive for COVID. So I guess you know what I have and what's been making me congested. <clears throat> and I gotta tell you, I'm glad I'm vaccinated and had the booster and all of that. Um, kinda had to cause I was, I'm immunocompromised. But um, they say it's a lot worse if you do not have a vaccine, if you're not vaccinated. Sorry, can't talk very well right now. But anyway. You know, once you get this down, you can do this really quickly. <clears throat> I'm kind of not used to doing it in right sitting at my vanity. Uh, that's why it seems to be taking me longer today. At least that's what it feels like. And don't worry about this fizziness. You teased it, so, or I teased it, so I'm gonna. Brush it out smooth in a moment and spray it. And I put a little curl in the top. Do not look at how, do not look at my roots. But, uh, but yeah. Because I need to redo my hair and not so red. You know, last time I couldn't find my, uh, <clears throat> my normal color because I mixed two different uh, colors to get my normal color. Uh, but I couldn't find one of the colors, it's, you know, red terracotta. Terracotta red is, is, is the red shade that I use. And with cinnamon brown, both Wella colors. <clears throat> and uh, I couldn't find the terracotta. So I went ahead and just got red because I'm going, the cinnamon brown's going to mute it. <clears throat> and now I'm glowing the dark red. <clears throat> Which, uh, well for like Black Widow cosplay but I don't have a Black Widow cosplay I mean of course I'm looking at them now because you know of the red hair but soon that'll be gone and I'll be doing Melina instead of Natasha or Natalia depending on whether you're paying attention to the MCU or the comics you know who I'm talking about. Ah, and see? There, and there, and that a little bit of there. And if you want to um, pin that little top curl in place, you can. I usually do, just to be more secure. There, half of it's done already. Boy, it is getting to be a warm summer. <clears throat> Not my favorite season, uh, because of the um, brain injury. <clears throat> People with uh, brain injuries, it's clinical, it, they, they don't tolerate the heat very well. I always wondered why I had such trouble with it until I read this article on a uh, neurological health website that talked directly about that. And I'm going, oh, that makes so much sense. Because I feel on the verge of heat exhaustion sometimes and I just go out in the sun and stand directly in the sun and it doesn't take long at all. I just get, I start getting anxious. when I'm out in the sun now. Cause I'm going, oh no. Very susceptible 
to heat exhaustion and don't want that heat stroke. Anyway, been off on a bit of a tangent again, but you know, if you know me, I do that. I often talk about things and just talk about other things and I go all around the block. And just shape it with your hand. And smooth it out with your hand. And then another little pin. Once that's centered, this is kind of my asymmetrical look because I'm a little bit thinner on this side than this side. Um, <clears throat> hair wise. Losing my hair quite quickly as I get older. I'm not sure why. Probably stress and <sighs> oh, and that brain surgery I had. Yeah, probably that. Anyway, okay. At this point, I take the section or clips out. <clears throat> Use my Boar head, uh, boar's head, no, boar's hair, boar's hair, see, I'm all over the place, um, bristle brush and just brush the heck out of it. And when you think you've brushed it enough, brush it more, because it'll give you those waves, those nice retro waves in back. Now my hair is thin. <clears throat> That's why I cut my hair and started styling it retro, is because it was getting thin and I needed to give it some life. And so mine gets that wave quicker, but it's not as substantial. So I, I use the bandanas most of the time. Bandanas, not banana bananas. Can I say? I can't even say that. Anyway. <laughs> to make it look fuller than it is. Get sectioning clips back in. I find that putting them back in makes it easier to tie your bandana. <clears throat> At least for me it does. Okay. Normally I can do this in about 10 minutes. As long as I have the curls to work with. You see? those in right there. It helps keep it in place. And then I just shake it out and brush it again. And if I'm going somewhere specific, I work harder on getting that wave. But I'm not. I'm just staying home because I have to self-isolate <clears throat> self today. Like I have for the last week. Anyway, because I think it was a week today that I tested positive. shocked me to death. Two years of vigilance. And then they lifted the mask mandate and months after they had, my husband and I started to not wear our masks as much in public. Less than a month after we stopped wearing our masks, we got it. After two years of not getting it. We hadn't been sick for like 
two years, which is, for me, I get sick. I, I, I used to get sick often, but then everybody was sanitizing everything and everybody was wearing masks and everything and we didn't get sick until we nixed the mask. I know there's some anti-maskers out there that will argue it with me, but that was my first-hand experience. I'm telling you, the masks are useful. And I am wearing them again. <clears throat> okay. I hope you and had fun watching me try to talk uh, while doing my hair. I, 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 I usually don't while I'm doing my hair, so. So anyway, and um, I hope you got some uh, tips on how to do retro hairstyles. Something that's important to um, keep in mind while doing um, your hair in curls um, and pin curls is that no two um, heads, head of hair are the same. Um, I have a little widow's peak which kind of makes this look fun. Um, but uh, a lot of people don't. Um, so sometimes the more um, symmetrical curled hairstyle that I'll have another tutorial for it, uh, might be good um, for those who don't have the, the widow's peak. Um, I know at least one of my subscribers on YouTube has been uh, wanting to see this tutorial and now I have a video to point people to when they say, how do you do your hair when I'm out? Because, yeah, that, that, that happens more often than you might think. The, the, the main reason I started doing this to my hair was, um, well, my hair was getting thin, like I said in a previous video, and uh, it also makes me smile. And in turn, it makes people, when I go out, it makes people smile at me, so, I have that. I mean, people smiling is infectious, so it helps brighten and keep me positive and helps my mental health, as does doing my makeup too, um, which I'm not very good at yet, but you know, tutorials on YouTube are very helpful. Anyway, um, so I hope you had, a, I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are while watching this, and bye now.